Hey everyone, it's me Fashion Coder and today I'm going to be going over how to mint on Zen. So I went to their website right here, which is zencrypto.io. If we click try Zen up at the top right, it's going to give us this page right here. I do have a code review on their code. So if you're interested, I'll put the link right here, but we are not going to be going over that right now. We're going to go into their test net. Also, you can go in and calculate um, the minting there, but we don't need to go into that right now. So this is the test net. So we're going to be using the Ethereum test net, which is called this. And we're gonna launch it right here. If you're not on the right chain, it's going to give you like an error message up here and it will have you change your MetaMask account. Um, so it will prompt you, which is great, but don't use Ethereum or anything like that because this is supposed to be a test net and you don't want to be sending your real funds out because it, this isn't real. This is test net. So it's all test. Okay. So you're going to connect your wallet. I have already done this. Well, it looks like I need to connect it again. Okay, it's connected now. And I didn't have any um, funds in my Ethereum testnet just because I haven't used it a ton. And so I needed some ETH in it. So I came to this site right here, which is uh, the faucet for it. You do have to sign up for an account for this, but you can get 0.1 ETH for the day. So I did that just so I could get some, so I could do this transaction to practice it. But what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the mint freeze in. But at, let's look through this super quick. So we do have the mint right here. There is the stake option right here where you can mint and buy. And then it looks like there's no events right now. So if we go back to the dashboard, this is what we see. We see the global ranks and then these different statistics, total supply, liquid supply, total state. And then the max term right now is 100 days, which that will probably change. And then if we look at these, reward amplifier is a time dependent part of Zen Mint reward calculations. It starts at 3000 at Genesis and decreases by one every day until it reaches one. And then early adopter amplifier is a part of Zen Mint reward calculation, which depends on current global rank. The EAA starts with 10% and decrease, decreases in a linear fashion by 0.1% per each 100,000 increases in global rank. And then APY determines Zen staking reward calculation. Okay, so let's go in and mint, mint some. Great, let's do let's do the max right now, so we can start minting. Actually, no, I don't want to do the max. So I want to do thirty. <laughs> start minting. It's going to come up with the transaction. Come in here. It's nice having dummy wallets just because you can come in and do test nets like this and it allows you to be able to, you know, use these funds in this way. And I mean, it's all test nets, so they don't actually have value in the sense of, you know, trading out into your own stuff. Um, but yeah, here we go. So we can claim it in 30 days. There's the claim and share and then the claim and stake. So pretty straightforward, you come in, do that, and then once you have that, you can come in and stake Zen through here. You can mint it, you can also buy it, which might just not be working for testnet, but yeah, there we have it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.